You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. Everybody, this is Michael from Maximum Threshold. We'll be right back after this. With Australian supergroup, The Art. <laughs> All right, I got, who do I got next to me here? I'm KJ. What do you do, KJ? I play bass. Okay. I'm uh, Jordan, I play the drums. I'm sorry, I say a few words and play the tambourine. Do you play the tambourine half as good as Davy Johnson did? Or Davy Jones, I'm sorry. Who's Thank David you. Johnson? I don't know. <laughs> I looked into his eyes and I became smitten. I meant Davy Jones from the Monkey. I'm the best tambourine. That's a bold statement. Have you ever seen Ian Asbury from the cult play the tambourine? I've seen videos of him. Do you think you're on that level, tambourine-wise? Uh, I don't like to compare myself to other people, but I think inside my own mind, I'm I'm, I'm pretty good. My mom thinks I'm cool. You, well. you said you said you were the best tambourine player. I'm well, that, just calling you just, the carpet on it. This was one of my split personalities that came out and said that I'm not responsible. Sorry, oh. is not in right now. Okay. <laughs> well, who are we talking to? Keith. Hello. <laughs> okay, and uh, we can't forget the last guy here. I'm Ronnie Simmons, and I play lead guitar. Okay, he plays lead guitar. So, first of all, before this devolves into tambourine smashing, tell me where I can find all your music, all your tour info, and all news about the art. Uh, ask KJ, that one, ask KJ. Uh, www.followtheart.com. It's got like links to our Facebook and to tour dates and photos and uh, links to our online store where you can download our album and get merch and stuff. Yeah, it also has detailed descriptions of our size and girth. <laughs> Each and every one of us. And to, so, go on. And to keep the update with all the touring we do, go to our Instagrams, at Ronnie Simmons, Kara underscore Jane 01, and Azaria underscore Burn, and you can see photos of everything that goes on on the road, as well as tour dates and all that cool, crazy shit. Okay, so who? let's go back. Who's got the biggest length and girth? Because I don't have internet access right now. KJ. KJ. <laughs> she, gets most, she gets more chicks on us, too. Yeah. She gets more chicks than you. That's usually the case because she's she's definitely the best looking. I'm not saying you guys are I'm not saying you guys aren't handsome fellas in your own right. But she's definitely she's got a whole lot more depth than than any of us. But as far as length and <laughs> width and girth goes, I think Ronnie takes the cake. Oh yeah, it's always the skinny guy, right? Like you got a third arm over there. I don't know. Ask Chad Stewart. He's standing right behind you. <laughs> what about it? Stand. <laughs> uh, Crikey. All right, so. They call him tripod. Uh, All right, it's not at where it ends, it's where it bends, right? <laughs> yeah, we have twists and turns in all the right places, man. Okay, so KJ, how does it, how's it feel being on a, bunch, a bus with a bunch of dudes? Um. <laughs> Who are you raping? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's um it's it's actually um, a lot less scary than I thought it was going to be, um, and they're all really nice guys. Luckily, I mean, apart from the raping and pillaging, so it's not whatever. Rape, but now it's like a kind of you know, it's just it's a drunk fondling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we all have pretty beautiful penises, so there's not a lot to complain about. Uh, what 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 exactly makes a beautiful penis? I think we've already we've, well, we've we started scratching the surface with the length, size, width, and girth thing. But uh, I like it. Yeah, like, twists. Yeah, yeah, bends, twists, kinks, nooks, crannies. Well, what crannies. do you what do you prefer, length or girth? I'm a, just a nice, smooth, soft shaft, and, and I'm happy. Because I'm like a hockey puck. I'm only like this long, but I'm like that big around. Uh, I got a clip. <laughs> All right. What about? Oh, he's the tripod over there. I thought I thought I felt something on my leg over here. Just, he's like, excuse me while I lift this. So, being from Australia, are you guys circumcised? No. No. It, it it's totally it's it's not a religious thing. If someone is circumcised, it's more like a tradition thing because their grandpa was. Answer the fucking question. Well, I, are I'm you a, circumcised or not? I'm an uncut hunk. I'm proud of it. <laughs> All right. What about you? Um, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, you, they said you're you're packing the heat. <laughs> so, uh, what what are you guys going to do to positively change the stereotypes of Australians being like crocodile Dundee, going around wrestling crocodiles and wallabies? And we're not really going to we're not going to change any stereotypes. <laughs> They're the funniest stereotypes ever. We're going to I put on a hat. We're going to continue. <laughs> 
continue them. <laughs> hey. you know, there's drop bears in Australia too. There's what? There's drop bears in Australia. <laughs> yeah, What's drop bears? Oh, uh, they if you jump out your tour bus in Australia, they'll drop down and then just mangle you and mangle like, you ah! from the trees. Kind of like, like a vampire a meets like a teddy bear. Well, Jordan, with your smooth shaft over there, <laughs> have you ever put Vegemite on your nutsack? And let a koala bear lick it off. No, but I've stuck it in a can of chum, which is our favorite dog food. <laughs> let, let the family pet have a go. <laughs> have, has anyone at this table been punched in the nuts or kicked in the nuts by a kangaroo? No. No, so. I've never been that close and intimate with No, a just lots of other people's boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you put up with this all the time? She's the main predator. She's the, cul- <laughs> she's the culprit, isn't she? Yeah, she's the leader of the pack. This is my daily entertainment. I wouldn't change it for the world. So I, I read on the internet, because I didn't want to be completely unprepared, that you guys are going to be opening from for some big heavyweights in the future. You want to say a few words about that? Heavyweights and girth, or content on music? Oh, so you're not going to slag Van Halen, are we're, you? We're going back, no, he's just going back to the cock thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, you didn't mention the cock. Yeah. I thought you were a vegan, and you're all, you're all about the meat over here, man. Oh, man. I love a certain kind of meat. I, gotta, you know. Good old I, eat, I eat fish, but not, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. All right, yeah, back in, back in North, we've got a lot going on, man, and, and unfortunately we actually have to cut this current U.S. tour a little bit short. Uh, because we're heading back for uh, for a couple of tours, but I guess the main one would be a festival, brand new festival called the Stone Fest in Sydney, and it's um, headlined by Billy Joel, Van Halen, and now Aerosmith just entered the mix. So, we're, we're like excitement doesn't even begin to express what we're feeling at the moment here in Akron, Ohio. <laughs> and before that festival, we're doing uh, some dates with Buck Cherry and Richie Ramone in Sydney and Melbourne. So that's going to be it's going to be a good week. Cool. So, how exciting is it to be sharing the stage with the Piano Man? You guys all look like big oh, Billy dude. Joel fans. I actually <laughs> am. He's yeah. one of my favorite singer-songwriters of all time. So I'm going to be side of stage with a big grin on my face. So would would you agree that his early stuff is much better than the, the later stuff? I just say it's different, really. Like I know it's. It depends what mood you're in, man. Like it, sometimes I like a, like hearing I go to extremes and like the you know later career stuff. But you know, classics like you know The Stranger and Piano Man, you can't go past it. Well, w- with a third leg, you're probably always in a good mood, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, I, I don't ask these guys. I, I don't know. Right? And he's got an extra appendage to hit the high keys when he's playing down low on that piano. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a bad if I'm in a good mood. I wasn't talking about my dick. <laughs> I don't know, the thing is with this interview is you started us off on all sorts of penile conversation and you, you keep started bringing us back. And we're, <laughs> what is? we're one dimensional at this point in time and, yeah. and, um, and our thoughts and concepts and all we can think about is big throbbing cock. <laughs> Do you prefer Australian, <laughs> European, Asian or American or South American? Oh. Throbbing penises. <laughs> Shit, De- definitely not. S- only... South Americans a little too uh, picante for my taste. <laughs> for- fortunately and unfortunately depends on your perception. <laughs> das curry verse is good, y'all. I only know my own <laughs> dick, and um, you know, once I had a shower with my dad and saw his dick. <laughs> so, like, <but laughs> just to be completely honest. <laughs> Can we take it away from Dick, man? I want to Kids get back to the music. Down, down okay, let, let's talk about the music. Let's go back to the music. Tell us some. Tell us some more about your music, or tell us something about your music, since there wasn't really <laughs> anything to begin with. Yes, Ronnie's the newest in the band. I'd love to hear his uh, his take on, yeah. on on what we're doing at this point in time. I know. I ju- I jumped on board probably about fuck three or four weeks before this tour even started. These guys approached me, and I learned the set, jump on board, and off we go. But I've I've been describing it as rock and roll from outer space. Like, it's hard rock, but there's influences everywhere. Like, everyone comes from such a different background, but has common interests as well. Like, but yeah, rock and roll from outer space. Hard, hard rock elements, there's some punk thrown in there. There's indie tinge, there's a gothy tinge. It's like, you know, okay. what did, a big kick-ass cake. What did you, what, what are your big influences? Um, I come from a punk rock and a hard rock background. So my favorite bands are like the Sex Pistols and the Ramones, but at the same time I love Van Halen and... Kiss, Ace Frehley is one of my favorite guitar players. Now, Van Halen with David Lee Roth or with Sammy Hagar? With David Lee Roth. Okay. Good. Like Van Hagar is, they got some you good can, songs there, you can but, stay in the country. but okay. you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a Roth man. Okay, let's. What are your influences, Zarya? Um, 
I grew up listening to a lot of Joy Division and Bauhaus, so I sort of, um, you know, sort of, and I'm a huge Nick Cave fan, so I kind of love the, you know, the sort of soundscapey, darker side of music, if that makes sense. But it's all, but I still have, um, you know, old school ideologies and how music should be recorded and released as well. Like I was obsessed with vinyl, and that's all I'd buy until like a few years ago where it's like okay so well, you guys just got electricity in australia like 20 yes. years ago right so <laughs> you're so still f- you're still working on the eight tracks and yeah man we're, get, we're getting used to working on our feet we're so used to walking in our hands because well, it's just upside down yeah. well part of my thing the shoes thing things is, are cool is a live show and people um recording live to tape and going through the process yeah! hey girls <laughs> and um yeah i just love that whole process and you know there's a lot of Rock on! You guys know they're screaming for me, right? Yes. <laughs> they want a piece of the Hebrew hammer. Yeah. <laughs> they want the hockey puck. They want the. <laughs> 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 uh, right. Go on. Okay. So yeah, just with those ideologies and um, you know, just being fortunate to be with these guys and like that, you know, I'd like to think that the four of us come together, um, yeah, connect really well and and make sort of. Yeah, just sort of go on a, a live musical experience. Cool. Very cool. What about you, Jordan? What, do you, what are your influences? Uh, man, I'm I'm a heavy metal kid. I always have been. It's sort of since I was waist high, I was I was into hard rock and heavy metal, and and I just haven't strayed from the path, man. So this band is actually beautiful in sort of balancing out my existence. A little bit of yin to the fucking yang that. Yeah, you know, it, it can't be all fucking brutality and screaming all the time, so, yeah. Like, what, what heavy metal are you talking about? Oh, like, classic metal, man. Fucking Slayer, Priest, Pantera, Metallica, all that shit. But I also love love hard rock. Like, Guns N' Roses are probably my favourite band. Shit, yeah. What, what about you, packing the big heat over here? <laughs> um, I was always, like, into... Um I mean, I was like always into like chicks and rock and music and rock and roll, obviously, um, not exclusively, but like I was always really influenced by Patti Smith and, and like Courtney Love growing up and PJ Harvey and um, just like yeah, tough chicks, and good voices, and always dog. Cool. But rock and roll, basically, like any rock and roll is always. So KJ is the quintessential tough chick. I mean, that's the fucking irony of this shit. The chick she looks up to, and she's, they're not half the fucking woman this, this girl is. We can all testify to that. Yeah, fucking A. So do you, do you guys think that someday you will replace Rick Springfield as the premier Australian <laughs> rock superstars? I don't want to replace Rick Springfield, I'd be man. Honest, man. No, no. Everybody's girl is a kick-ass yeah, song, man. Yeah. Working class dog. I love well, that. Oh, fucking right? Everybody. I'm a big Rick Springfield fan. I swear. Yeah, yeah. And a Californication fan. Oh. I'm getting fucked by Rick Springfield. <laughs> Nothing like the sound of a stripper's head hitting a hardwood floor. Awesome. I love that guy. So, <laughs> would you would you rather bang? A pygmy or an aborigine? What is a pygmy? Is that like some sort of Inuit, like Canadian fucking native or some shit? No, aren't they from like Australia or some shit? Nah, you're you're both. Oh wait, no, that's that's New Zealand. Never mind. Nah, Uh, look, you know, personally, I like to have sex with a woman, but (laughs) why men a woman? Like a pygmy is like a small little like tribe. Okay, I thought. Pygmy I'm tribes. pretty sure a pygmy is an animal. No, 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 no. You're thinking a, a pygmy goat is a miniature goat, but a pygmies are like they're like native people. But they're small. I thought that was in the jungle. They're something. in the jungle, like um. Yeah. Like, didn't you see the mummy when all them little fucking things attacked? I don't know, but what was the other option? You gave Aborigines. Aboriginals. Oh, you know, yeah, we, we'd fucking Aboriginal, but we'd have to be prepared to lose our, the cash in our pockets right afterwards. <laughs> Just oh, joking. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> not cool. <laughs> oh. It's like, yeah. Like, was, was that a, <laughs> we are not racist, for the record. That was a joke. We are not racist, but Jordan is. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I actually embarrass the kids a lot. I'm a fucking asshole. Jordan's a racist, and so is my giant yeah, penis. Yeah, yeah. So, if Foster's is Australian for bear, no one drinks it back home. What? What is Australian for rusty trombone? Rusty trombone. I'm assuming that's something pretty dirty. I can. Uh, well, there's varying. That's just called Friday night, mate. I think we're getting, yeah. we're getting an education here. Yeah. So do yeah. tell. And some people, it's. The description's a little murky, but from what I understand, 
I know you're, you're, you're going to have sex with your lady, and it might be her time of the month. And then she's giving you a rim job, but reaching around, giving you a handy at the same time. <laughs> a good old-fashioned, so it's like a rusty... Oh, I like God. to wear the Domeo grin. The what? The Domeo grin. The it's Domeo where, grin. You don't know what the Domeo grin is? No. It's like a pasta sauce that he wears, that he, he, he slurps up some spaghetti, and there's pasta sauce all over his mouth. And do you want to wear the Domeo grin? That's what... Okay. Red sauce. So, I get you what get you're saying. Now? Yes. Okay. Tomato-based... So, Pasta sauce. My man's saying he's not afraid to only swim in the Red Sea. He'll drink from it. Yeah, yeah. he'll exactly. pop the fuck Okay, I, I, I heard that you're quite the artist. What What is your normal medium, like, outside of music? Um, I, I like to paint a lot, and I like to think when I play guitar that I'm painting with the guitar as well. So, as wanky as that sounds, um, I know life is art as art is life, and, and we're all, you know, using every medium to create it whether it's our body or the universe the reaction to it so does mel gibson embarrass you guys and you guys <laughs> just want to say he is not really an australian or do you just accept him i don't mind man i accept it anyone I just, can walk yeah. whatever path they want to walk i just tune it out man gallipoli and the road warrior were great fucking films man so mad max matt well the road warrior oh, mad yeah. max. shit that's right mad max was a, no, yeah, yeah. We called it Mad Max, and they called it the Road Warrior. Yeah, yes. yeah. that's true. Because yeah. I get roped in, I'll be watching like AMC and Mad Max. I'll come on, I'll be like, "Fucking sweet!" But that's the first one. Yeah. You know, and there's you know Mad Max two, and then Thunderdome. I, I'm not into the Thunderdome. No. That that dude Tina that. Turner scares yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> that dude. I mean, he's got some nice legs, but he really scares the shit out of me. Just remember, two men enter, one man leaves. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to wrap this up because I can see you guys are getting cold. Let's, uh, getting cold. You guys have been cold. This is like summer here. This is like sub-zero Arctic winter <laughs> like in winter Australia. Yeah. Okay, so one more time. Tell me where I can find your music and all the information about the art. KJ, KJ. Followtheart.com. That's it? You don't have like, what's what's the official Facebook page? It's Facebook forward slash follow the art. Yeah. Our YouTube page is YouTube forward slash view the art. So, if you go to follow the art got, dot com, it will link you to everything that you want. Everything's sort of centralized. Oh, our names are on there, and we are on Facebook, so you can snipe us out and find us there. And we have, like I mentioned earlier, our Instagrams, which is the best way, I think, to follow us on tour, because we put up everything. What, what exactly is Instagram? Because I'm from America, and I don't know this shit. Well, it's actually Brothers. bigger over here than it is back home. It's like an app on your iPhone where you, it's like Facebook, but for just photos. Like, where you'll just put a photo up, and then people comment on it, and another photo. It's like, oh, really? It's really good. It seems to be all the rage. Everyone in Fast is doing it, too. We're, we're, we're big on, on that stuff, because we're on the other side of the world to all our friends and family and it's like you don't talk to them on the phone you don't see them nothing like that so if we just sort of stick photos of where we are each day it like gives you some sort of semblance of, of keeping it together on you know keeping the home fires burning a touch yeah. awesome so this is Michael from Maximum Threshold I got KJ Jordan Azuria and Ronnie you guys want to say anything like tell us how much Maximum Threshold means to you and we'll end the interview yeah, I, okay. Do you want to do this one? I try and avoid max, maximum, uh, maximum... Maximum thrush. thrush threshold. Max, max, no, threshold. Ma maximum thrush, but I go for the... Or as Jack the Russell maximum, called it, maximum thunderbolt. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> I avoid maximum thrush, but I love maximum... maximum. I can't Ma look, look, Big shout out to Maximum yeah. Threshold. Thanks for having us. It's been fucking great. Go, go Everybody go check out the art. And you will not be disappointed. Thanks, guys and lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. So
You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.